you know, we just passed May 11th, which is the anniversary of when uh, the United Nations took in Israel as a member. That's when the fig tree generation could actually should begin 1949 on May 11th. If you take May 11th, 2030, which is that deadline, but you subtract seven biblical years, you subtract that from that deadline, May 11th, 2030, you end up on June 17th this year. It certainly doesn't mean the rapture has to be then, you know, it could be any day, any minute now. It's not like that has to wait. We can leave before Jacob's trouble starts. Everything's about to go down. We're so out of time. It's not even funny. The whole B system is ready to go. And the other thing I want to mention is that May 18th is actually 17th and 18th is the Ascension day when Jesus ascended into the clouds and said, you know, he's going to come back the same way he left. And I want to remind you that I had that dream where I was in a restaurant and I, I knew Yeshua was in the back of the room and there was a folded napkin on the table. And then I saw the number 18. And so I come to find out a folded napkin on a table in a restaurant means I'm coming back. So it's interesting that the 18th now this year lands on Ascension Day, because that's a huge watch day for the rapture. For me, Ascension Day has always been a big one. But May is, May is a big month right now. It's very significant that it's landing on Ascension Day. I'll also be watching Ascension Day on May 17th, 18th, or 19th. S sister uh, had a dream and she was shown May 18th right away. Acts 1 11. The same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. And that describes Ascension Day. Our Lord's got to be close. We know that this is the year, and I'm praying so much that it happens like now, today, tomorrow, the next day, sometime in May. Let's get out of here. Jesus was crucified in the year 30 AD. With the May 21st date, I went to 30 AD, May 21st, and in fact, there was a ring of fire annular solar eclipse on that day 1993 years ago exactly seven years short of 2000 years and here's that information of the annular solar eclipse on may 21st 30 a.d and this can be found at eclipsewise.com for those of you who say no man knows the day or hour and that you cannot predict the timing of the rapture, I have pulled up Bible Gateway here, Matthew 24, verses 35 and 36, to show you that that phrase is not talking about the rapture. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man no not the angels of heaven but my father only so you will see here that the no man knows the day or hour is actually talking about heaven and earth passing away so that phrase no man knows the day or hour is not talking about the rapture john says in revelation 3 verse 3 therefore if you will not watch i will come upon you as a thief and you will not know what hour i will come upon you this means that if you will watch, he will not come upon you as a thief, and you will know what hour he will come. Paul says that if we are not in darkness or ignorance, this day will not overtake us as a thief in the night. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 4 
But you, brethren, are not in darkness, so that this day should overtake you as a thief. If no man knows the hour, then Jesus would not have said, If you had known, you would have watched. Matthew 24, verse 43. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore, Jesus wants us to know the window of time the tribulation will start, because if we had known, we would have watched. The Bible instructs us repeatedly to watch. Scripture also gives us a list of things that we should be watching for that will indicate we are approaching the tribulation. We are seeing all of those signs in the world today, and they are intensifying in severity and frequency every day. If you'd like to keep updated on world events, I have created a handy playlist of end times updates. Please go to the playlist tab on my channel and find the watching together list. I am constantly adding new videos to the list from a variety of Watchmen channels. We clearly see in the world today, we are living in the end times right now. Watching the signs given to us in scripture tell us that the tribulation is about to begin. This is how we know when the rapture will happen, because it will occur before the tribulation. And if the tribulation is upon us, then the rapture is even closer. Please go to my channel to find a video that describes the rapture and its timing in further detail. Join me on my other media platforms. The links are in the description area below this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.